Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to remove the background from a photo using Affinity Photo. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So say you want to remove the background from a photo and the tool you want to use is Affinity Photo to do this. So there are a few ways to start. One is to try to remove the background using this brush tool right here. The Selection Brush. So select that and then make sure you have Mode Set to Add and then the width is going to be the size of this little circle here where you select things. It's really small now so if I actually draw with it it's going to be hard to select the whole background. So what you want to do is head to something larger and then you can see the circle get larger and then you can grab larger chunks of it. It's easier if you use the right and left square bracket keys on your keyboard to quickly make the brush larger. Now you want to make sure you have Snap to Edges turned on so that as you get close to the subject it snaps to the edge of the subject. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see it's taking a lot of the arm right there and that's fine because we'll refine it later. And then you can do the same thing on this side and with snapping on it quickly snaps and gives you a rough approximation of where the subject is against the background. Now I'm going to use Command D to deselect and actually do the opposite. It's easy to invert the selection on just about any graphics tool. And I think it's easier to cut the background out by selecting the subject first. So I'm going to just click and drag here to select the subject and you can see it quickly selects the subject. I don't have to mess with the larger area of the background. And in a fraction of the time I have the whole subject selected. There's a lot that needs to be adjusted but it's a good start. Now the first level of adjustments you can do using this same tool. I'm going to zoom in. You can use Command Plus or you could use two fingers on the trackpad to zoom in and you can see here where it needs adjustment. So I'm going to shrink the circle here quite a bit and anywhere I click and drag it's going to try to add that snapping to the edges like before. So I get a lot better. I can make the circle a lot smaller for grabbing areas like this or along the rim of the glasses like that. And if I want to remove an area I hold the Option key down and then click and drag in an area. So I can get a lot more detail there. And then I want to check the entire outline of the subject here to see how well I'm doing. Here's another area that I can bring in to the subject. And once this is pretty good I can go to the next stage which is Refine. If I click Refine here then what's going to happen is it's going to change the background to this red color. It's going to tint it red. And I can really clearly see what it is I have selected. Let's move this over here and now I can go in and use a variety of tools to refine things even further. So one thing you can do is make the circle fairly large and with the matte selected here if you simply highlight an area it's going to kind of reassess that area and try to bring more subject in, get rid of more background. So you can kind of brush over this like that and you can see it does a much better job. It's kind of automatic. Now you can also easily add and remove sections. So for instance let's say I want to define background this little area here. What I want to do is draw in it and then let it figure out the area there. So you can do that with other parts as well that you find. You can either draw a background inside of the area. Don't touch the edges. Or foreground you could define areas to include in the subject that may not otherwise be. So playing around with matte, foreground, background, and clicking and dragging uh, will get you some really good results. And when you think you've got it just like you want hit Apply. And now you've got the subject selected. Let's zoom out here. Now if I delete at this point I'm going to delete the subject. That's not what we want. So I want to invert the selection. Select and then you'll find Invert Pixel Selection or Shift Command I. Now when I delete it deletes the background. Now let's try another one. I'll use this tool right here and I'll increase the size and I will fill in the whole subject. Now to refine I'll zoom in and decrease the circle size. Add some more. 
remove this area here by holding the Option key and dragging. And now we can click Refine and we can use these tools here to better refine the area, particularly here in the hair. So let's make the circle a little bit bigger. And you can see if I draw over the hair right here, it becomes more transparent. The hair is still there. But instead of that bright light shining through it, it's more transparent and ready to accept whatever other background we're going to be using. Look up here and see those fingers and see how they're a little red right there, meaning they're somewhat transparent. But they shouldn't be. So let's decrease this quite a bit. And I can actually say, let's make this part of the foreground here. And then you always have to remember to click Apply. And then we can do Shift Command I to invert. And then Delete to delete it. Command D gets rid of the selection there. And we can see now what we've got. Here's one last one. Let's do the same thing here. Select the subject. Try to get as much as we can. Zoom in and decrease the circle size. See where we can improve things. Here's a potential little problem. We can make the circle really small here and grab as much as we can and then Option and click in here and drag to cut this out. But We'll come back to that. Here's an area that we need to improve. And now let's go and use the Refine tool. We can zoom in here and we can use the Matte tool there to better handle areas and go back to some of those areas we knew were having trouble before. Let's look at this loop here. You can see how this is a little red here, meaning it will be a little transparent. Let's say we want this to be foreground, so we're going to paint in here to make sure it includes this as the foreground. Then we need to hit Apply. Now what you may want to do after this is either change the background somehow or replace the background. So a big mistake people make is perhaps to use Cut here, Command X to cut out the background and then Command V to paste it in and you see in layers here I have background and foreground in two different layers. That's not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is instead go back to the subject. I'm going to use Command Shift I to select the subject again instead of the background. Copy and paste. So now what I've got is I have two copies here. One is just the subject and the other is the subject and the background. Now let's go select the background and we could apply an effect to that like Blur for instance and make the background blurrier like that or apply any effect at all that we want to it. Or we could go and take another image here and put it there and now we replace the background there. We can select the subject, move them around, even drag a corner and resize them if we want like that. So that's how you cut out the subject or delete the background from an image using Affinity Photo. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.